Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, I have a candle review for you today. It is on Bath and Body Works 14.5 ounce three wick cabin in co cabin. Well, there you go. <laughs> three wick candle in cozy cabin. <laughs> wow. Um, so this, uh, sorry, it's the winter collection from 2015. Uh, there is the picture of it. Now I'm not like someone had made mention about how this kind of looks like a glorified outhouse. I kind of agree a little bit to an extent, but what I will say is I do enjoy, I'm not again, like a huge label fan. Like I don't really care, but I really like how they, they, it really looks like sunshine. So however they got that was beautiful. Um, I will say that in a little, um, sparkly, snowflakes all around here so um really like that one um like like don't know if i like the outhouse look to it but everything else i kind of like so uh, i'm gonna read to you what bath and body works because of course in canada we do not have the scent descriptions on the bottoms of these candles uh bath and body works describes this candle candle as escape to a rustic cabin with a welcoming blend of frosted vanilla sage and golden glowing woods now I went to Bath and Body Works today and did a rather large, um, fairly decent sized haul. And when I was there, I was talking to the, the ladies there that work at my lo local Bath and Body Works. And I said, and she's like, oh, well, I told her I got this one last time. She's like, well, what does it smell to you? And like to you, and I will say this, it is probably the most difficult to discern scent um, for me lately. Most things have been like, you know, cranberry or pumpkin or whatever like it's very like tr 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 this was very confusing to me so what I told her what I got out of it was like a lavender vanilla like Bath and Body Works lavender vanilla with like a very light mahogany teak wood like an outdoorsy men's cologne kind of scent now she said it is a mixture between the la lavender vanilla and I can't recall the name of the candle that it was a mixture of it's not something obviously I would have purchased if it was on its own because again I'm not an outdoorsy except for like well autumn there's a couple scents but they're mixed with apple and things that, that I like but I'm not a, I'm not a huge mahogany teak fan teak wood fan and <laughs> that candle made it through my disaster by the way so go figure but this was the most confusing scent for me um I've had this burning in my bedroom it's and I had been watching other people review it, saying it's not very strong. That's why I put it in my bedroom. I only bought this one. And I think that's probably where it's going to lie. Um, unless I, you know, unless it's on the candle sale um, in December, I might get one or two more. And I'd have to burn at least, yeah, two for sure in this great room. I wouldn't be able to get away with anything less. Um, but in my bedroom, the scent appeal, a scale of one to ten, honestly, five. I'm not as big a fan. I did because I think I couldn't discern it. I couldn't different. I couldn't pick out the notes. I couldn't say, "Hey, it's this, this, and this." And that was that was tough for me because I kept on standing over it, going, "What is that smell? I don't know what it is. I don't get it." Like I get some lavender, I get some vanilla, and like some men's cologne like slapped in there. But um, I do like the color of the wax. The burn has been wonderful. I have not had to trim the wicks ever. It's not hit the puny wick syndrome, but yet it's not uh, mushrooming like mushroom top. It's literally been at that point where it's just, you know, just long enough to keep it going. What I will say about this candle though, unlike my cranberry pumpkin, which the wicks were like off to like the outside edges of my candle, this one, they couldn't be more close together. <laughs> And I didn't look properly when I was at Bath and Body Works and I didn't lift the lid. I know what a horrible candle collector that I am. But I mean, I bought one. So I live and learn and I've been checking mine from here on out. But the candle wicks were so tight together in the center. Um, it, hasn't, it hasn't created a problem. In fact, I'm less worried about this as I have been about my cranberry pumpkin. So whether that comes, that review comes up before or after this, I'm not sure um, whether I post that before or after. But um yeah so a bit odd i don't know if i will buy this candle it's obviously appeals to lots of people out there but um for me bath and body works cozy cabin um I'm, I'm happy i bought this one i'm glad i tried it went out of my as sean would say my wheelhouse um i'm more of a bakery kind of person or fruit and a foodie type person but i'm glad i tried it 
I could say I'd, I'd probably be one of the bottom candles I would purchase if that candle, when that candle sale comes um, to Bath and Body Works. So anyway, winter 2015, cozy cabin, meh, it's all good. But you know what? Every nose is different. You guys, thanks very much for watching and take care.